Gina, have investors now priced in the, la the lasting impact of this virus? And if so, it sure doesn't seem like they're that worried. No, I don't think they have. If you look, if you compare coronavirus to SARS in terms of its impact to the Chinese economy, then you can expect the follow on effect. Well, you have to expect that the impact could be larger at a time when Chinese growth is slower. When SARS hit, Chinese growth was significantly faster. Um, and so now we're at a point where growth is slower and it will take significant monetary stimulus to continue to, to prop up the economy. If you have factories shut down, if you have travel that's effectively been, you know, contained and quarantined in various ways, cruise ships quarantined, that will have an impact. And that's going to have follow-on impacts to other markets. Um, anybody who's, who's manufacturing in China, anybody who's importing from China, um, and quite frankly, all of the commodity markets that support all of this. All right, so, so let's, let's assume that there will be some kind of an impact, that the markets are not pricing this in. Where exactly will the rubber meet the road? Where, where, where will the most impact be felt? What parts of the market? Is it macro? Is it treasuries, gold, interest rates, currencies, that sort of thing? Or are there specific parts, industries, stocks in the market that get hit hardest? Well, there are parts of the parts of the market that get hit hardest are already getting hit. You've already seen oil take a tumble on the idea that Chinese growth, you know, Chinese demand is going to be significantly lower. Industrial metals have had a massive impact uh, in the last week uh, on the back of, of, of this news, and they were already kind of in a weak space. Commodities weren't exactly in a great space to begin with, right? And so, you know, energy companies that were supposed to have a big balance this year just can't seem to get their feet under them. Um, so it's it, so you're already seeing significant significant impact. I think the places where we haven't really seen any impacts really is in the tech space, um, where you do have a lot of linkages, um, but growth continues to power forward, even in sort of these, these mixed times uh, in the S&P. Uh, and so I think that's probably the place where it's really not very well valued. You still have very highly valued companies in the tech space um, that have significant linkages to this.